So today we're going to be taking a look at Kate Skywalker and Darth Talon based upon their appearance from the Star Wars Legacy comic book series. And I really like this set. It's uh, definitely one of the most iconic uh, comic book packs in the line, I think. Darth Talon's obviously a fan favorite. People still talk about her today after all these years. And Kate Skywalker is a pretty interesting character as well. If you didn't know, he is a descendant of the Skywalkers, obviously. Uh, but this takes place about 100 years after the original trilogy. So Cade might be four or five generations later in the Skywalker line. We don't really too, know too much about his uh, in between maybe Ben Skywalker and the old canon. And Cade Skywalker, not sure what happens in between, who those Skywalkers are. And... Darth Talon is a follower of Darth Krayt. Not sure if she's directly his apprentice or not. I haven't followed the series too much. But like I said, she is a fan favorite and it's a very nice action figure as well. So we'll take a closer look here at the action figures here in a second. But we'll take a look at the comic book here first. I don't have the original packaging here to show you, unfortunately. This is a really nice comic book as well definitely one of the more iconic covers from this uh line back in the day this is delia blue here it's basically uh kate skywalker's lover and there's also a really good action figure of her as well which i do have she'll be a review herself eventually Part 2 of the Legacy line. I do have Volume 2 of the Legacy series, but I don't have Volume 1, unfortunately. And it's really expensive to get, very hard to get a hold of. And surprisingly, I found Volume 2 maybe 5 years ago at this point for about $20 at a comic book store. Which I thought was uh, too good of a deal to pass up on. Some interesting images here. Delia Blue game featured. Cade and his game crashing in on a cantina, it looks like. I looked through a lot of these old images and the comic books from years ago, and it's to me, I just think it looks far better than what is produced today. It's interesting to me. Not sure who the other companions are that follow Cade. Like, I'm not sure who he is specifically. Then we get into Darth Talon. Of course, there's Darth Krayt, and I believe that's Darth Warlock. Very nice images. Cool fight scene with the Imperial Knight. G.I. Joe advertisement. This is supposed to be like the spirit of Luke Skywalker alone after he's dead. Uh, I do know this is the cover of the Darth Nil and Delia Blue comic book pack. I believe this is supposed to be Luke going to speak to Cade about he must defeat Darth Krayt. Nice image from the 30th anniversary line. The V Wing and some images there. This is the Dina Sean comic book pack. I do have Dina Sean, but I don't have that Luke from the pack. And this pack did come out around 2008, I think it was. This was 
kind of that tail end of the 30th anniversary line in the beginning of the Legacy Collection. Uh, so we'll take a look at, I suppose we'll take a look at Kate Skywalker here first. So it's a pretty good action figure for the most part. He does kind of have a awkward stance, I think, a very wide stance. And his trench coat here being plastic, it does kind of hinder him a little bit. And it does make displaying him kind of difficult because he has takes up a lot of shelf space because of his stance and his cloak. But he does have a lot of nice detailing in him, though. Head sculpt's not too bad. I think the eyes are a little uh, wonky. But the sculpt itself looks really nice. You can definitely see the resemblance of a Skywalker in him. There's nice detailing in his clothes there. And metal boots it looks like. Kind of has a little bit of the Dark Empire Luke going for him with how the, the collar and the trench coat is. So in terms of the articulation, he does have a ball joint at the neck there. Then he has hinge at the shoulders, hinge at his elbows. A little about 90 degrees, maybe not quite, but really close. Swivel wrists. And hold on here, move that to the side. I suppose technically he does have a ball joint, the torso there, but again, it's kind of hindered with his coat, uh, swivel hips, then sw uh, hinged knees, and hinged ankles as well. And nice shin armor he has there. So in terms of accessories, he just comes with the one lightsaber, which I still have uh, with the elastic bands around his hand. No need to really take it off. I think he would have a hard time holding his lightsaber, at least in his hand. It looks like it's kind of a wider grip. This one, he could probably hold it pretty good, but I'm okay with leaving it like that. It's no problem. And he also comes with his signature, kind of similar to like Kyle Katarn in a way, his own personal blaster that's unique to him. And I've actually never even put this in his hand before. I've always had it in his holster. Let's we'll see how this looks. Yeah. Might would have to finagle with it a little bit, but you see what I mean there. Looks pretty good. Definitely very reminiscent of Kyle Katarn. And that does fit in his holster very well. Not too loose. And you don't have to really jam it in his holster. So that's Kate Skywalker. We'll take a look at Darth Talon next. Again, definitely a fan favorite for Sith in the Star Wars universe. She's definitely one that fans have been wanting in the Black Series line, maybe even a Hot Toys version of her, and to be recanonized. And it's a really good action figure. The only one complaint I have about it is in the articulation, but again, it's not the end of the world on that. But it seems kind of strange that, I'll just point it out now, she doesn't have the hinged elbows at all, which seems kind of strange that Hasbro would neglect that. She looks pretty good. Good detailing in her high boots there and a 
Like Hasbro did a really good job with those. So she does have a ball joint at the neck there. It's pretty good range of motion. Hinge at the shoulders. Very good range there. And like I said, nothing in the elbows at all, unfortunately. But she does have swivel gauntlets. Uh, hinge at the torso there. Then swivel hips. Then hinge knees and hinge ankles as well. So for the most part, perfect articulation for the time. But like I said, strange that Hasbro would neglect the elbows. Seems like it'd be a central piece to her. In terms of accessories, just her lightsaber, which I think is pretty much unique to her. That is a very unique hilt. I do have the elastic bands around it still. I'm not planning on taking it off anytime soon. Eventually, it'll probably wear out from age, but that could be years from now. You can see it's starting to break apart a little bit there. Very nice detailing in her loincloth there. Tattoos look really nice. I think they did a better job on this head sculpt than they did on Kate Skywalker, or at least around the eyes. The eyes look a little more natural. Like I said, here it looks kind of walky. Uh, but other than that, I think that's really all there is to say about this comic book pack. Would I recommend this for your collection? I definitely would. Like I said, it is one of the most iconic comic book packs that I think has been released in the line. Usually when people think of this line, Darth Talon and Kate Skywalker are usually some of the first ones that come to mind that people always remember. And it's not the most expensive comic book pack in the world. You can definitely find it for a reasonable price if you look in the right places. I actually won this in an auction on eBay for about $50 around 2017. So I think that was a pretty good deal for this. If you can find it for $50, I would definitely say jump on that. I wouldn't pay hundreds for it, obviously, but uh, if you can find it for a good price, definitely would recommend it for your collection. And again, Darth Talon is one of the most iconic Sith uh, in the Star Wars universe to date. And Kate Skywalker definitely has his fans as well. I'll show you one interesting thing. This is usually how I have Kate Skywalker display. This is the Delight Blue action figure. So I kind of have it where they're wrapped around each other like this. Be something like you could would see in a movie poster. And they look really good together. So anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews in the future. There will be plenty more to come. Appreciate all the feedback along the way that I read in the comments as well. And if you have not already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And also check out the Instagram link in the description as well. And also I'll be posting daily community posts. Keep an eye out for that. And thanks for watching.